Well, post-launch, it's, it's incredibly exciting because I, I was working in the launch for um, you know, more or less a year, and it's, it's just deeply humbling to see that much excitement from the community. Um, now, what's going through my head is this is, uh, you know, we have very large expectations to fill. Um, so we're working um, tirelessly to, um, you know, expand it to those needs and explore product routes that we can be pursuing in the near term. Futurkey is uh, market-based governance. So um, instead of asking a uh, legislature, um, should we implement this policy decision, you ask the market. Um, so say for example, it's uh, should we spend two billion on uh, building this road project? Um, instead of the legislator voting on it, um, you would say, hey, Gnosis prediction market. Um, let's create a prediction market, uh, one that says uh, if we spend this two billion on this road project, um, what will our GDP be in two years? And then one asks if we don't spend this money on the road project, what will our GDP be in two years? So um, after this, you have a trading period in the market, which is getting the best information from all sources with something at stake um, for that information. Um, and whichever outcome, uh, whichever market has a higher expected outcome, uh, say, you know, the expected GDP, if we spend the two billion is 10 billion higher than if we don't, um, that policy is automatically implemented. Um, so in, in this case, that's an interesting question um, because in, in some of these situations, um, there may be large ulterior motive to manipulate the outcomes of these prediction markets. Um, say uh, Brexit, um, and you are a producer of some products and your primary market is the UK market. Um, you would maybe benefit from Brexit um, occurring because then there would be higher taxes on your competitors in other markets um, exporting their products to your market. Um, so, you know, say you would benefit $500 million from Brexit occurring. Um, if you can manipulate the market um, toward Brexit happening with a cost lower than $500 million, um, that maybe becomes rational. Um, however, if you start manipulating the market and you know throwing this essentially dumb money into the market, you're creating a greater and greater incentive for smart money to come in and then correct the market. You're just you're essentially just throwing money away, and you're attracting better and better information to that market. Um, so, it's a uh, concern. Um, it's less of a concern when you have very very high liquidity in markets um, because then it is more costly to manipulate. But then it's also important to note that as you manipulate it, you add liquidity, essentially free money, for people who do have good information about that outcome to come and correct the outcome. So it's, it's not anywhere nearly as simple as, let me throw in some money and manipulate the market. It's actually, um, theoretically, it's good that they're throwing money into the market because then better information can come in and correct that. You know, I, I wouldn't say the de facto standard. Um, I think there's going to be a multitude of uh, governance tool sets for DAOs. Um, I think it depends on the application, and I, I think we'll see a lot of hybridization of, say, voting systems in Futarchy. I do think that Futarchy will become very, very prominent um, and can be used for quite a variety of decision makings within the DAO. 